The James Webb Space Telescope is perhaps one of the greatest and most expensive inventions of our lifetimes. In addition, it is one of the most advanced and best space observatories NASA has ever created. This is because the JWST has succeeded in capturing some of the most incredible pictures of our galaxy, including the pictures of some of the most breathtaking nebulas and star formations. Be sure to click the like and subscribe button to stay notified of the latest updates about the James Webb Space Telescope, NASA News, and other space updates. Now, let's dive into these incredible pictures. Number one, the star-forming chameleon. The observatory has made an awesome discovery of the 65 light-year wide star-forming region called the chameleon cloud complex. The image reveals dusty dark clouds where stars are forming, dazzling reflection nebula glowing by the light of bright blue young stars and radiant knots called Herbig Haro objects. Herbig Haro objects are bright clumps and arcs of interstellar gas, shocked and energized by jets expelled from infant protostars in the process of forming. The white orange cloud at the bottom of the image hosts one of these protostars at its center. Its brilliant white jets of hot gas are ejected in narrow torrents from the protostar's poles, creating the Herbig Haro object HH909A. The observatory studies these clouds as part of a search for extremely dim, low-mass brown dwarfs. These failed stars lie somewhere in size between a large planet and a small star, 10 to 90 times the mass of Jupiter, and do not have enough mass to ignite and sustain nuclear fusion in their cores. Number two, the surviving star in aftermath of supernova. The observatory has uncovered a witness at the scene of a star's explosive death a companion star, previously hidden in the glare of its partner's supernova. The discovery is a first for a particular type of supernova, one in which the star was stripped of its entire outer gas envelope before exploding. The finding provides crucial insight into the binary nature of massive stars, as well as the potential prequel to the ultimate merger of the companion stars that would rattle across the universe as gravitational waves ripples in the fabric of space-time itself. Astronomers detect the signature of various elements in supernova explosions. These elements are layered like an onion pre-supernova. Hydrogen is found in the outermost layer of a star, and if no hydrogen is detected in the aftermath of the supernova, that means it was stripped away before the explosion occurred. Previously, scientists theorized that a massive progenitor star's strong winds could blow away its hydrogen gas envelope, but observational evidence didn't support that. To explain the disconnect, astronomers developed theories and models in which a binary companion siphons off the hydrogen. Number three, a river of stars. This insanely beautiful image of the Hickson Compact Group 31, HCG31, of galaxies made by the observatory, highlights streams of star formation as four dwarf galaxies interact. The bright distorted clump of young blue-white stars, top right of center, is NGC 1741. Although it appears to be a single galaxy, NGC 1741 is actually a pair of colliding dwarf galaxies. Another dwarf, cigar-shaped galaxy to the pair's right, joins their dance with a thin blue stream of stars that connects the trio. HGC 31's fourth member is revealed by a stream of young blue stars that point to the galaxy, bottom left of center, and indicates its interaction with the other three. The bright object in the center of the image is a star situated between Earth and HCG 31. Dwarf galaxy encounters are normally seen billions of light years away, and therefore occurred billions of years ago, but HCG 31 is located some 166 million light years from Earth, relatively close by cosmic standards. The newly revised image emphasizes star forming regions spurred by the quartet's gravitational dance. Number four, an infant star's outburst. An energetic outburst from an infant star streaks across this image from the observatory. This stellar tantrum produced by an extremely young star 
in the earliest phases of formation and consists of an incandescent jet of gas traveling at supersonic speeds. As the jet collides with material surrounding the still forming star, the shock heats this material and causes it to glow. The result is the colorfully wispy structures, which astronomers refer to as herbig haro objects, billowing across the lower right of this image. This object, called HH34, resides approximately 1,250 light years from Earth in the Orion Nebula, a large region of star formation visible to the unaided eye. The Orion Nebula is one of the closest sites of widespread star formation to Earth and as such has been poured over by astronomers in search of insights into how stars and planetary systems are born. Number five, shock wave in the Running Man Nebula. Luminous clouds of gas and dust in this image of a Herbig Haro object known as HH45. Herbig Haro objects are a rarely seen type of nebula that occurs when hot gas ejected by a newborn star collides with the gas and dust around it at hundreds of miles per second, creating bright shock waves. In this image, blue indicates ionized oxygen and purple shows ionized magnesium. Researchers were particularly interested in these elements because they can be used to identify shocks and ionization fronts. This object is located in the nebula NGC 1977, which itself is part of a complex of three nebulae called the Running Man. NGC 1977, like its companions NGC 1975 and NGC 1973, is a reflection nebula, which means that it doesn't emit light on its own, but reflects light from nearby stars, like a street light illuminating fog the observatory observed this region to look for stellar jets and planet-forming disks around young stars and examine how their environment affects the evolution of such disks. Number six, the Searing Stars in the Flame Nebula. The Flame Nebula, or NGC 2024, is a large star-forming region in the constellation Orion that lies about 1,400 light years from Earth. The observatory studied this nebula to look for protoplanetary disks, also known as proplids, that are disks of gas and dust around stars that may one day form new solar systems. The observatory found four confirmed proplids and four possible proplids in the nebula, but the proplids are being worn away by the intense radiation of nearby stars and may never have the chance to form planets as a result. The observatory also located three globulets in the nebula, these are small, dark dust clouds that can be seen against the background of bright nebulae. These dust clouds are thought to form brown dwarfs. Brown dwarfs are warm objects too big to be planets, but without enough mass to become stars. The Flame Nebula is part of the Orion Molecular Cloud Complex, which includes such famous nebula as the Horsehead Nebula and Orion Nebula. Number seven, Newly Star IC. 2631. Stars are born from clouds of gas and dust that collapse under their own gravitational attraction. As the cloud collapses, a dense, hot core forms and begins gathering dust and gas, creating an object called a protostar. The observatory's infrared image captures a protostar designated in the reflection nebula IC 2631, part of the chameleon star forming region in the southern constellation Chameleon. Protostars shine with the heat energy released by clouds contracting around them and the accumulation of material from the nearby gas and dust. Eventually, enough material collects and the core of a protostar becomes hot and dense enough for nuclear fusion to begin and the transformation into a star is complete. The leftover gas and dust can become planets, asteroids, comets, or remain as dust. Protostars are visible primarily in infrared light since they emit a lot of heat energy, and their visible light is obscured by the dust around them. That's where the web comes in. Number eight, Tapestry of Blazing Starbirth. This image is one of the most photogenic examples of the many turbulent stellar nurseries the observatory has observed during its research. The portrait features the giant nebula NGC 2014, 
and its neighbor, NCG 2020, which together form part of a vast star-forming region in the large Magellanic Cloud, a satellite galaxy of the Milky Way approximately 163,000 light years away. Isn't this image incredible? Number nine, the Horsehead Nebula. This new image, taken by the observatory, shows part of the sky in the constellation of Orion, the hunter. Rising like a giant seahorse from turbulent waves of dust and gas is the Horsehead Nebula, otherwise known as Barnard 33. This image shows the region in infrared light, which has longer wavelengths than visible light and can pierce through the dusty material that usually obscures the nebula's inner regions. The result is a rather ethereal and fragile looking structure made of delicate folds of gas, very different to the nebula's appearance in visible light. Number 10, the Lagoon Nebula. The observatory took this amazing and colorful image of the Lagoon Nebula. The whole nebula, about 4,000 light years away, is an incredible 55 light years wide and 20 light years tall. This image shows only a small part of this turbulent star formation region, about four light years across. This stunning nebula was first cataloged in 1654 by the Italian astronomer Giovanni Battista Hodierna, who sought to record nebulous objects in the night sky so they would not be mistaken for comets. Since Hodierna's observations, the Lagoon Nebula has been photographed and analyzed by many telescopes and astronomers all over the world. What a piece of art it is. Number 11, the eagle has risen, appearing like a winged fairy tale creature poised on a pedestal. This object is actually a billowing tower of cold gas and dust rising from a stellar nursery called the Eagle Nebula. The soaring tower is 9.5 light years or about 90 trillion kilometers high, about twice the distance from our sun to the next nearest star. Stars in the Eagle Nebula are born in clouds of cold hydrogen gas that reside in chaotic neighborhoods, where energy from young stars sculpts fantasy-like landscapes in the gas. The tower may be a giant incubator for those newborn stars. A torrent of light from a band of massive, hot young stars, off the top of the image, is eroding the pillar. The starlight is also responsible for illuminating the tower's rough surface. Ghostly streamers of gas can be seen boiling off the surface, creating the haze around the structure and highlighting its three-dimensional shape. The column is silhouetted against the background glow of more distant gas. Ironically, the young cluster's intense starlight may be inducing star formation in some regions of the tower. Examples can be seen in the large glowing clumps and finger-shaped protrusions at the top of the structure. The stars may be heating the gas at the top of the tower and creating a shock front, as seen by the bright rim of material tracing the edge of the nebula at top left. As the heated gas expands, it acts like a battering ram pushing against the darker, cold gas. The intense pressure compresses the gas, making it easier for stars to form. This scenario may continue as the shock front moves slowly down the tower. Number 12, the NGC 6302 butterfly. This celestial object looks like a delicate butterfly, but it is far from serene. What resemble dainty butterfly wings are actually roiling cauldrons of gas heated to nearly 20,000 degrees Celsius. The gas is tearing across space at more than 950,000 kilometers per hour. That's fast enough to travel from Earth to the moon in 24 minutes. A dying star that was once about five times the mass of the sun is at the center of this fury. It has ejected its envelope of gases and is now unleashing a stream of radiation that is making the cast-off material glow. This object is an example of a planetary nebula, so named because many of them have a round appearance resembling that of a planet when viewed through a small telescope. NGC 6302 lies within our Milky Way galaxy, roughly 3,800 light years away in the constellation of Scorpius. The glowing gas is the star's outer layers, expelled over about 2,200 years. 
the butterfly stretches for more than two light years, which is about half the distance from the sun to the nearest star, Proxima Centauri. Number 13, the Orion Nebula. The Orion Nebula is 1,500 light years away, the nearest star-forming region to Earth. This dramatic image offers a peek inside a cavern of roiling dust and gas where thousands of stars are forming. The image, taken by the observatory, represents the sharpest view ever taken of this region, called the Orion Nebula. More than 3,000 stars of various sizes appear in this image. Some of them have never been seen. These stars reside in a dramatic dust and gas landscape of plateaus, mountains, and valleys that are reminiscent of the Grand Canyon. The bright glow at upper left is from M43, a small region being shaped by a massive young star's light. Astronomers call the region a miniature Orion Nebula because only one star is sculpting the landscape. The Orion Nebula has four such stars. Next to M43 are dense, dark pillars of dust and gas that point toward the trapezium. These pillars are resisting erosion from the trapezium's intense light. The glowing region on the right reveals arcs and bubbles formed when stellar winds, that are streams of charged particles ejected from the trapezium stars, collide with material. The faint red stars near the bottom are the myriad brown dwarfs that the observatory spied for the first time in the nebula. Number 14, close-up of the tarantula. The observatory has taken this stunning close-up shot of part of the tarantula nebula. This star-forming region of ionized hydrogen gas is in the large Magellanic Cloud, a small galaxy which neighbors the Milky Way. It is home to many extreme conditions, including supernova remnants and the heaviest star ever found. The Tarantula Nebula is the most luminous nebula of its type in the local universe. Number 15, the Mystic Mountain. This craggy fantasy mountaintop, enshrouded by wispy clouds, looks like a bizarre landscape from Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings. The image taken by the observatory is even more dramatic than fiction. It captures the chaotic activity on top of the pillar of gas and dust, three light years tall, which is being eaten away by the brilliant light from nearby bright stars. The pillar is also being assaulted from within, as infant stars buried inside fire off jets of gas that can be seen streaming from towering peaks. This turbulent cosmic pinnacle lies within a tempestuous stellar nursery called the Carina Nebula, located 7,500 light years away in the southern constellation of Carina. Nestled inside this dense mountain are fledgling stars. Long streamers of gas can be seen shooting in opposite directions from the pedestal at the top of the image. Another pair of jets is visible at another peak near the center of the image. These jets known as HH901 and HH902, respectively, are signposts for new star birth and are launched by swirling gas and dust disks around the young stars, which allow material to slowly accrete into the stellar surfaces. How fascinated are you by watching these insane images taken by the JWST? Which picture mesmerized you the most? Let us know in the comments section below. Also, if you enjoyed watching this content, be sure to click the like and subscribe button to make sure you stay up to date on the very latest news about the James Webb Space Telescope, NASA News, and other space updates. See you in our next video.